looks like a desktop, smells like a desktop, but it doesn't look like a desktop inside. Welcome back to Pushing Technology to Limit. Today I want to talk about the curse of the micro PCs. There's a lot that can happen with these micro systems that nobody understands about. And this one that I've got today is absolutely the oldest system that I've ever seen. And it has, well, originally there's two stickers on it. It came with Windows Vista 64-bit. And then it was repurposed with Windows 7 uh, home premium 64 bit. Well, when I looked at the parts of this thing, I was just shocked that it would, did not have as any of the new stuff that you would see on a Windows 7 computer. There's no HDMI, uh, there's a parallel port, there's all these other things that you would see like on something in the early 2000 computers. Uh, and 04, I mean, I had a parallel port on one of my 04 computers. But not anymore. <laughs> They're gone. So let me show you what's going on inside of this computer. So I took this Dell computer apart and looked inside just to see what was going on. Um, it has almost the basic parts for a uh, desktop computer. But there are some things in this unit that are hard to replace because they're lab type parts. So for an example, this CD drive right here is a laptop CD drive. And then there's a floppy drive that comes with this thing. And that's a uh, laptop uh, floppy drive. And it does have standard RAM. Uh, down here, it's hard to see it all with the wires. I mean, maybe you can see it. But I'm pointing right there at it. I'm touching it with my finger there. And it has a regular you know, power supply, but... These power supplies are hard to, to replace once they go bad. Um, these systems are not very good for replacements. Now, I did put a new hard drive in. I had a hard time getting it to work with this computer. It's a 2 terabyte Western Digital. And this is what's pathetic. Is down here is a uh, expansion slot. And you can use, uh, I don't know, I think it's, um, oh, I can't remember what the word is called for that uh, black port. But uh, this other one is a PCI port, or PC, yeah, PCI slot. And you can put, like, network cards and stuff in. But this thing is so small, you can't even use it. Now, the one bad thing about this computer that I have found and was running it yesterday is that it felt awfully hot. And it runs like a laptop, because laptops run really hot uh, inside. And if you've seen my other video about the curse of the laptops, I had that laptop propped up so I could get some fresh air. So the only uh, source of fresh air to this system is right here where the processor is. So it's down in the front here where it says Dell, and... Right here is the actual processor, and the fan blows into the computer. But there's not enough output for the uh, the heat to escape. So when I took this cover off while it was running yesterday, I got a blast of hot air in my face, which is not good. So that means that as long as it's uh, having more heat inside, this power supply is going to toast. And this thing was pumping uh, a lot of hot air out the back because there's not enough to, to circulate to keep that power supply cooler. Now the other thing I found that was kind of a, a bomb in this machine, so if I take the hard drive out, and I don't know why they did this, but I'm just going to turn it over, and they got a fan underneath it trying to keep it cool. I don't know if it's... If it's pulling out the heat, or it's supposed to be blowing in fresh air. But the box itself does not have enough cool air running in it to keep that hard drive running cool. So whatever they're doing, it's not enough air circulation in this computer. So if I move into the back here, uh, well, i get that later. Uh, you'll see that this computer does not have really a lot of the new stuff. It has the the VGA port. This is the 
the parallel port that I was talking to you about, and some other kind of nine pin port that's really old. And who uses that stuff today? Uh, and it has, you know, integrated sound and the Ethernet card, which, which is all built in here. Uh, right here's that Ethernet cable. And I don't know. Uh, I've got some quirks about why not to buy a system like this. And the main reason is because of uh, upgrades and for the fact that it just runs too dang hot to even uh, keep it running all the time. I mean, the only way that you could keep it cool is by like what I'm doing is I just leave the cover off it and uh, the heat will escape eventually. And it does. But even with it running, I can just feel the heat escaping out of the system. So I know that there's not enough airflow uh, with that cover on. Now, the way I look at buying computers is it's like buying a car. If you buy a cheap car, you're going to ch get cheap performance. Same way with this. Uh, you buy a, a cheap computer, you're going to get cheap performance. And it doesn't matter if it's a desktop or a laptop. But I'm if you're going to use a laptop permanently, I would recommend getting uh, a regular desktop computer. But not one of these things. This is one of those business systems. And I don't even know why a business would want to buy one of these stupid things. Uh, they're too cheap. I mean, maybe that's why they buy them, because they're cheap. But you know what? Out of all the years that I've bought in computers, uh, I've spent at least two grand or more on each computer. And you might think, oh my god, that's a lot of money. Well, yeah, it's a lot of money, but the thing works... And I still got the uh, computers that I've had since 04 that still work great. Yeah, they're old and slow compared to modern equipment, but they still work. And compared to these small business systems like I got on my table here, they're not even worth spitting on, really. I don't know what you would want to do with it. Um, running Windows 7 on the thing was a dog. And even just trying to install the thing, it took me two hours just to get it completed, which is unbelievable. And this computer can also have, you know, you can interchange it so you can do like uh, a dual boot to Windows XP 64-bit. But it's kind of like, why? Uh, the system only has two gigabytes of RAM. And yes, there are reasons why I have stuck with XP, and like I've said in other videos... It's because it's less RAM, so the base system only takes 12, 12 megabits of RAM versus Windows 7, which takes 1 gig. So by the time you get everything running in this computer, uh, it's going to be a gigabyte of RAM. And then so you got 1 gig left over. Well, that's not enough for running a Windows 7 PC. You at least need to have 4. Uh, gigabytes of RAM for the base system. I at least that's my recommendation. I mean, you can have three or what have you, but more is better. And I don't even know what to do with it really because the the specs are so low and there's not much upgrade use to it. Uh, like I built my own NAS the other day and I put a bunch of parts in it. Uh, yeah, it was an older computer, but you know what? If you just if if you're mainly using the the network attached storage computer yourself, and there's not an awful lot of other people in your house or business that's accessing a lot of data, it doesn't matter. It can be dog slow, and who cares if it takes them a few minutes to access a file on a hard drive? To me, I don't care. Uh, I got enough time in the world, and even if it's just uh, thirty seconds, is not that bad. And uh, so the next time when you want to go buy a computer, uh, ask yourself, do I want to buy a, an El Cheapo uh, business machine that's compact, or do you want something un upgradable, like the ones that I have down in the basement? Now, in one of the other videos I'm going to do is showing you how to make Windows 7 look like an XP. Now, why? Because there's a lot of people still out there that like their XP, and wish they still had it. And you can do uh, an XP look on Windows 7, 8, and 10. 
and it's pretty sweet because I did that to a couple of computers so far and it's really nice. So I hope that helps you make a decision on what kind of a computer to buy the next time you're in the market for a computer. Um, I just wouldn't buy one of these things. It's not uh, worth your money. So I'll see you the next time on Pushing Technology to Limit. Have a great day.